Hi everyone and welcome to the Langmuir Systems Fusion 360 tutorial video series. In this first video, I'm going to be showing you how to download and install Fusion 360 for hobbyist use. Fusion 360 is a powerful and fully featured CAD CAM software which we'll use to design parts we want to cut and convert them into G-codes. Keep in mind that Fusion 360 is subject to updates which might reorganize its features or alter its appearance. We'll try to keep up-to-date patch notes in the descriptions of all of our Fusion 360 tutorial videos. We'll start by going to LangmuirSystems.com, then navigating to the Downloads page under the Resources tab. From here, we'll click the Fusion 360 Subscription and Download link to be rerouted to Autodesk's website. If you have questions about which version of Fusion 360 is right for you, you can call the number on this screen to speak to an Autodesk representative. For now, we'll click on the subscribe button. Here, we see the different payment options if we use Fusion 360 for commercial purposes. Let's go ahead and skip this and press the free trial button. If you're a student, a teacher, or an educational institution, you can click here for a free three-year subscription. If you intend to use Fusion 360 for commercial purposes, you can click here for a 30-day free trial. I'm going to show you how to activate a free one-year subscription for non-commercial use or for a hobby business. The primary requirement for a hobby business is that it makes less than $1,000 annually. If you are a small business or a startup, Click this link to see if you will also qualify for free use under a startup license. Click Get Started Now to continue with non-commercial download and installation. Then click Sign In. If you already have an Autodesk account, enter your email address here, and then click Next. If you do not, click Create Account. Enter your first and last name, your email address, the password you'd like to use, Tick the box to accept the terms and conditions, then click Create Account. After you've done so, go ahead and navigate to your email and check for a message from Autodesk to activate your new account. Since I already have an Autodesk account, I'll go ahead and just sign in now. After you're signed in and you click the Get Started button, your download should initiate automatically. If it does not start after a few moments, go ahead and click the Please Try Again button. Now that we've downloaded the installation file, we can run it to install Fusion 360 on our computer. You can either click the banner at the bottom of your web browser, or you can navigate to the Downloads folder on your computer and double-click the file. Be patient, as the installation process might take several minutes. Now that Fusion 360 is installed, we can sign in to our Autodesk account using the same email address and password that we just used in the web browser. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, Fusion 360 is subject to periodic updates. This green banner is letting us know that this is a new version. If we want to, we can click here to find out what's new. This drop-down menu shows the different workspaces in Fusion 360. The one called Design is where we'll be doing CAD work. Start a project by clicking the Create Sketch button. For the crossfire, always use the XY plane. The Manufacturer workspace is where we'll be doing our cam work once we have a part designed, with most of the tools we'll use in the Fabrication submenu. This tool is available in all different workspaces and will allow you to shift your perspective to see your project from different angles. That wraps up this video. Join us next time when we begin a sketch and learn the basics of CAD work. Don't forget to clean up your PC by deleting or moving the new shortcut Fusion 360 and deleting the installation file from your downloads folder. We'll see you next time.